Welcome, welcome back, everyone. We return to the world of Demon Deacon and Days Gone. Entering this camp where I thought it was about to be a big battle, and maybe it still will be. But so far, they seem kind of, kind of okay. Big thanks again to Sony PlayStation for providing the review copy so we can get all this good stuff going. Looking for Manny. People uh, were, were up to no good by our mountaintop where Boozer is currently resting after his run-in uh, with the tattooed devils who burned his arm. It looks like this is like a hub of sorts. We've got a kitchen. Um, turn in. What are we turning in here? Camp kitchen. Meat and plants can be collected and turned into encampment kitchens for trust and credits. Nice. Okay, so I, so I thought we were going to build like food that would like help us out, but it looks like instead we're turning stuff in um, and we get credits and trust with the camp. I don't know exactly what that's going to bring to us, uh, but sure, we'll, we'll sell you some of our, our goodies. Bounties over here. Oh, uh, hey. I don't have any bounties yeah, currently. Hello. Do you have any for me to pick up or how does this work? Freaker, oh, freaker ears can be collected and turned into encampment bounty collectors for trust. Nice, okay. So we get to bounties, use these. Right? I got 14 swarmer ears and some newt ears. So okay. let's uh, let's sell all of these. I guess or yeah, at least let most me of them. Just make sure I have enough credits for this. I don't think we really need to hold on to these for any reason. But I, I'll hold on to one just in case. Just the one. Okay. 53 trust. Getting some got extra it. moolah. Pretty okay. good. I love that there is a, a market for ears. I'll be back. Going on over here. Here's a merchant. What do you got, man? Hey, Manny. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while lately. You've been too busy to notice. Nose down. Work hard, they feed you. Yeah, camper's life. Yeah, camper's life. I read a book once. Zen and the Art of Bike Repair. You ever read it? No, I didn't have a lot of time for books back in the day. Yeah. I ran a shop. Farewell. Made all the grease monkeys read it. Being a mechanic requires great peace of mind, it said. Try working on an empty stomach. That'll focus your mind. Manny, I'm looking for a bike. Yeah? Oh, 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 you don't want that one. Why not? It just came off the truck. I mean, some dumb son of a bitch left it out in the shit. Rusted up good. The road hard, too. The fool the road, it didn't know shit about bikes. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Shot the hell this one. I mean, we just partied it out. It didn't even have a fuel pump. We could have used oh, that. Man, fuel pump like this one? O okay. Like this one, Manny. Oh, okay, okay. See, now when I said fool, what I meant was the fools that brought that bike in. See, they didn't tie that shit down properly, so they left it like rattling around back there. Deke, and... let's talk. Looks like you had some trouble. Got hit hard last night. Ripper's again. Twice now they've been up here. Some say looking for you and Boozer. Out in the shit, folks say a lot of things. Folks around here take care of their own. They go enough days without food. Well, you see how it is. Lake not holding out? You get a fair amount of trout. Lake's fed by snowmelt. No one left a stock of fish. It's gonna run out sooner or later. Like everything else. That's a very intense weapon, but I'm glad you're protected. I like this whole, like, Ewok village up in the trees they got going on here. Pretty freaking cool. Even this tensions build. The old man. You build deer blinds out here. Put down salt licks below us. Pick them off clean. Some winners had so much venison we couldn't eat it all. I didn't think that was legal. Deer baiting back in the day. My old man had only one law. The United States Constitution. He could only see us now. America. Land of the free. We are that. Also land of the, uh, you'll probably die at every twist and turn of the road, more likely than not. So free, uh, if only for a couple of minutes. <laughs> Saw Leon the other day. Yeah? He was bringing me something. Is that right? Folks here in a lot of pain, Deke. Oh, Leon. Tuck said that he took off. No one's seen him. Hmm. <laughs> Tell you what. 
You find his stash. You bring it to me. To me, Deke. You do that. Well, we'll see what we can do for you. The bike that your men stole, that your men parted out. Salvage, Deke. Salvage. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll try to keep that in mind. By the way, nice hat. What? No, this one. Don't you ever die. Now, hold on. Leon wore a hat like this, didn't he? Oh, Cope, I swear to God. Don't. You want to do business in my camp? You start doing some runs for me. Cope. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I'm here anyway. What do you got? Now that's more like it. A group of drifters has been harassing my supply runs. They've moved into the radio tower west of O'Leary Mountain. Isn't that your backyard? No, it's not, but uh, I'll take care of them. I thought you might. Leon left us in a bit of a bind. Copeland's kind of a jerk. I'm surprised Deacon is just backing down so easily. Uh, but thank you guys and girls for not backing down. Welcome back to the series. Glad to have you here. Hope you're pumped for more. If you guys enjoyed, definitely hit that like button. It does help me out a lot. And uh, usually... Uh, usually... We make good things happen in these games. Um, I guess no one's taking our guns away now, are they? Grabbing some Copeland collectibles up here in the treetops. We'll head back down. We were going to go to that gun merchant um, before they took control away for the cutscene. They stole our bike. And uh, it sounds like we're going to have to do some work to uh, earn trust, get it back. Eventually, I don't know, maybe we will bust this camp up. As of right now, we're, we're being friendly, but... I don't know how long that lasts. Deacon seems like he will do whatever it takes to survive, and eventually, hopefully, uh, hopefully, whatever it takes to Hello there. win the day. Okay, so we got the mechanic here. Oh, Deke, Deke, uh, hold up. I just want to say how sorry I am. I, I didn't know, I swear. You have any idea how much time I put into that bike? It was a drifter bike, Manny. I know, I know. I I'll make it up to you, I swear. I, I put together a new one. <laughs> you call this piece of shit a bike? I know. It's not... Look, I'll keep an eye out for, for more parts. I'll hook, I swear. Okay, and what about my custom gas tank, Manny? You know, the one that I got for my dead wife. You gonna keep an eye out for that one, too? Jesus, Deke, I'm sorry. Just get the fuck out of my way. What? Drifter is on the mountain. First mission complete. Copeland's camp. Earning some trust. Gear up for the ride. Me and Boozer can't ride until I fix up this bike. It's in better gear. And I like how you're making progress across multiple storylines at the same time. It's an interesting way of doing things. Um, ride to the Nero checkpoint. New skill point, finally. So this is going to get all sorts of awesome real fast. Refuel, repair, customize, upgrade your yeah, bike at encampment mechanics. Um, wow, I got all sorts of stuff. Different engine parts, different trust required, level 2 visual oh wow okay um there's a lot of options but they all require a lot of trust and it's specific skins it's not just free all right. form customization all right, see you, but see good you. to say how to manny those people are struggling um this is a bike we can take Look, I'll let you and then we've also got the merchant who i was going to quickly just say hello to guns ammo supplies unlock new guns Buy shit. That's uh, all. With more trust. Hey, whatever. Yeah, a lot of this just requires... Not buying today. A lot of it just requires trust, so we're going to have to deal with that in a little bit. All right, let's swipe down to skills. We've got one skill point. What is that? 9% of our XP, I guess, under the next level. Kill smaller enemies after successfully escaping from a grapple. Um, ability to ma repair melee weapons. Improves the initial recovery and... Duration of a stamina cocktail. Alright, over here we've got ability to f activate focus while aiming a ranged weapon. Move and aim with more precision. Ability to follow a melee attack with a ranged attack. That's kind of cool. Um, increase icon time. Plans are displayed. Alright, I like focus time. I'll take anything that seems like, a, like bullet time for sure. Master that focus shot. While well, aiming with L2... Click on the right stick to activate focus. Time will slow down, allowing you to make more accurate shots. Focus duration will increase with scope trades and Nero injectors. Nice. Okay, and then uh, real quick, if we go to the story. 
Active storylines. Search the Nero MMU for sterile bandages for Boozer. Clear the Marauder Ambush Camp. And eventually, clear all the nests in Crazy Willy's infestation. Alright, where is... We are here. That's the Nero Checkpoint. And that's the, uh, the Cascade Radio Tower Camp. Um... So that one, we're trying to you know, get some bandage. All right, we'll go there first, I guess. As we really start getting into the meat and potatoes of this Jesus, game. This is a goddamn bike. We hate our bike, which is okay. I understand. I know how it goes. While accelerating, you can drift. That's good. Booster, you ride there? Ride out. Yeah, Dick. How you doing? How's the arm? Like I said, I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, I'm still gonna head to that Nero checkpoint, find some uh, sterile bandages, uh, ointment, something. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm gonna go out. Make sure the mountain's clear. Uh, those are, no, no, those are third degree burns. You stay there, you rest, okay? I'll, I'll be there as soon as I can. I guess. Um, I guess. Uh, you know, I could. I could use something for the pain. Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll see what I can find, I guess. I'm gonna have a quick quick save, which is interesting. Thank you very much. Get off the bike. I'm so pumped to see how the flow of this goes. Like, initially it's been so driven, right? We have such a... a very directed experience. And I'm, I'm sure there will still this be directed missions, but I like the idea... I gotta find some shit for boozers, huh? I like the idea it's gonna be a little more open. As we go, that looks bad. That is a lawnmower machete. I like the idea of utilizing that uh, to help take out some of these freakers. It sounds like a few are around a big bottle of juice. I'm not going to get to use it. Um, dude down there. This chick over here. I do have guns, and this game is a third-person shooter. Uh, but I guess if we can stay melee... Focus for the most part. Probably pretty good. Yeah, and with a machete like that, ooh. Racking our brain. Um, to rack their brain, honestly. Nero checkpoints unlocked. There's definitely some dudes up there. I saw something. Scatter. We gotta be careful. Looks like there's an open window. Get in here. Can we get in? Wanna climb it? No, we don't want to. Seems like we could get in there, but he doesn't really wanna vault in. Okay. Can we get in here? There we go. I'm just worried when I run into like a gigantic one of these, right? Like at, at some point there's gotta be probably like pretty big uh gross freakers. I don't know what all those little different arrows are. I guess they could be super far off in the distance, and that's why I'm not able to really Investigate. Somebody is Bingo, definitely up on top. Okay. Refuel the generators, the gas can. Okay. And that's gonna light the power back up and probably allow us to recapture this base is what I'm guessing. We do have a scary freaker back here. I'm gonna approach with extreme caution. I think the game looks really good visually. Like I haven't seen it in a while, I guess since E3. I tried to like kinda stay uh, dark on, on some aspects of it. That's a nice fire axe, but our, our current piece of equipment is pretty durable. Um, anyhow, so like I'm, I'm like, wow, it looks pretty darn good, especially on my pro. Like it's, it is a nice looking game. I think there was another uh, freaker down in these parts, although maybe not. Um, let's head up top here. Anybody up here? I thought I saw somebody. Maybe he jumped down in the middle there. Uh, no gas cans up the top. There's another dude over there. I don't know how reactive the system is. Like, once I start... Ooh. Okay. Shutting down the speakers. But, like, once I shoot one... It, there's a gas can, by the way, over there. Once I shut down one, how, how intense will it get? Does it get super intense? Is it pretty easy? I don't... I don't yet know. Also, are there like drop attacks or how does that work? Somebody's. Just... 
Okay, this guy's nearby. He sees me. He's gonna be able to get up. Okay, cool. Got him. A few melee strikes and he's down. Here comes another one. Alright, so they are they are localized in terms of getting us, but <laughs> it's pretty cool melee. Uh, as we take off his arm and hack into him. No freak or ear. Um, so that's, I guess, the, the penalty. But we did uh, we did do our job and survive. Can he land? Okay, good. So he takes some damage, but not a ton. Which is real good to know. Maxed out on many things. There's a nice gas can. Thank you. Run this down to the generator and see what we're about to stir up. Perfect. Okay, so we start the generator now. Whoops. Drop the gas can. Come on, you saw this bad boy. Start. Yes. Oh, hi. Oh, that's gonna allow us to actually get inside to hopefully grab Zero those bandages. Zero bandages. Zero nice. bandages. Where the hell would they keep this shit? Okay, let's hope that there's not anyone super scary or creepy in there. Thanks for the med kit. Yes, and sterile bandages. Just there we go. Work. Now I just gotta get this back to Boozer. How? What a low. What's a med gun? Nero injector. Okay, that permanently increases your health, stamina, or focus. Interesting. Nero. Wow, we have to pick. Ah, uh, injector of some kind. I'm picking stamina. I thought there was a Bioshock Infinite where you pick through chemistry. like shield health or um, powers. Very similar to that, isn't it? You should have bugged out Grabbed with your friends. Order. Welcome to my world, you stupid son of a bitch. There's new items in here? New sidearm? What we get? It's not new, is it? Pretty sure I've had this crossbow equipped. That's a little odd. Special weapon is a crossbow. Um, primary weapon there, sidearm there, cool. We could catch some Zs if we wanted. Don't really need to. Um, so let's just get the heck out of here. Nifty to unlock that, open it up. I'm sure if we turn the generator and didn't cut those speakers, I'm guessing that the speakers would have alerted a couple of, a couple of zombie friends, right? That would probably be the idea. Let's um look at our map here. What is this mission marker? Little Bear Lake near... Oh, it's a fast travel. Okay. Oh, fast travel costs gas and time. Interesting. That's so super interesting. All right. So if I get on... If I get on my bike... Can I fast travel back? All right. I just want to see what this does. If we fast travel... Like, does the bike come with us that we were using? Does the bike stay out there? We do have to come back this way, you know, to get up to that radio tower area to clear out for Copeland. So we have to go that way regardless. But I'm very curious how this system works and if it's going to keep things, how simple they uh, like to do everything. The loads are, are a little long. And, you know, hearing about, like, oh, the PS5, like, sure. that one of the system sellers is going to be that it doesn't have loads kind of really impressive up. if that ends up being the real case st john this is cope when you get to the tower my radio uplink has been shut down i'll pay you to restore it so these men you know them because shutting down radio free organ seems kind of personal god damn right it's personal they used to be a part of my camp seems they didn't like the rules against stealing raping murdering all right, Maybe Boozer and Deacon like are just already having a, a conversation. With your bullshit, I, I, Saint John out. <laughs> Look, they're already having a conversation. The subtitles that is probably going to take place like right here, right? Hey, Boozer, I uh, yeah, <laughs> found some shit for your arm. Boozer. Oh, shit. Boozer. Hey. Whoa, ah! Hurry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Shit, Deke. 
Oh. Could have blown your goddamn head off. Look, uh, let me let me see that arm, huh? No, no, I got it. Come this. on, let me see that arm. I got All it. All right. D. Thanks, brother. Look, I'll, I'll be better, okay? I'm gonna be fine. Enjoy your band-aids, crazy boy. Trying to shoot me first in the uh, the early reveal subtitle conversations, <laughs> and then again here. Wait, fifty-six percent. Wait, wait, wait. So there's much more I could do. What are these things? Goal. I have to keep Boozer alive. He's my brother. So let's look at the storylines here. We got a death wish. Bug the hell out. Um. Additional storylines at different percentages. Okay, as we can. Okay, so finding Nero is eight percent complete because we found one of them. Um, chasing Leon is fifty percent complete. Fixing the bike so we get more rewards as we progress these. It's kind of interesting of how they do this. Honestly, it's a little confusing about like what this all means. Dealing my past four percent. Um, but we're still pressing towards this guy. I don't, I don't know what that mission complete fifty six percent was. Unless it's just moving me closer and closer to some sort of end goal. All right. Well, at least our uh, oh, a little sleepy. At least our bike is down there, and uh, maybe we actually should take a quick little nap. Start fresh in the morning, that way there's less freakers. Uh, although we then will not have the cover of a night to invade that camp. Uh, sleeping at a bunk in a safe location or a safe house or a bunker. Uh, advanced time. Some challenges like infestation can be approached differently depending on time of day. Additionally, progress can be saved when you're a bunk. Grab some shot eye. Alright, so uh, feeling a little sleepy in real life and in game. So we grab a quick nap. The night falls. The day rises. The sun shines. I'm ready to go back at it. <clears throat> and we're ready to go. All right, so that um should be a quick save. Thank you very much. We'll grab that. And we'll head the heck out. Looks like Boozer is waking but still sleeping. And we are going to um, move our way up here. Can you set this as... Yeah, that's the main mission. Locate this... Uh, point and, and luckily we're in a good spot for it no starving patriots um there's different encounter Ooh, what is that different encounter just popped up where at that's the infestation over there what is this copeland's camp where is that little little uh curious mark that popped up hmm i don't know if those are going to show up on the big map or if they're only going to show up on the mini map as we approach but uh Let's see. Give it one more quick look. Is it, is it on here? It is not. Don't see what they were looking at, but I guess maybe they're just hinting. Like, if you do see anything like that, I make sure to pay attention. All right. Ride out down this way. Closer and closer. I don't. I wonder if there's any like. Just far less freakers, or are there no freakers during the day? That would be interesting. So, those are giant crosses for a second. I guess there's total crosses. Now, I wonder if this is a like far cry where you can run into like, oops, One more thing. run into like opposing they left, factions. They may have stolen some automatic rifles and a few shotguns. Watch yourself. Jesus, Cope, thanks for the heads up. I do what I can. Cope out. Oh jeez. Okay, I do have to be careful. He can, while a pro, uh, a pro motorcycle man also can flip it completely over. If you want to swing by. Well, I was just there, my dude. Yes, yes. I uh, always need more shit. Thanks, brother. Deacon out. All right, where was that little, that little question mark popped up and then it just went away? Oh, it's over there. Okay, is it now on my map? Let's see. No, it's not. 
I'm just gonna stay on the mini map. Let's ride down and see if we can find it real fast. Almost giving me like Red Dead GTA vibes with these like I guess little storylines that might be popping up kind of randomly along the way as we go. Little encounters. Um, the bike can be low on fuel. That's not good. Where is that question mark? Revving your engine consumes fuel, so coast downhill and keep RPMs low. Interesting. There's way more survival in this game than I expected. Is there like a camp over there? What was that? What was that question mark that was popping up? This guy. It must be. Okay. Looks like they're holding somebody hostage. Aim, fall off. Yeah, I don't know why it's telling me this again, but thanks. See so if we can get a little closer. Out here, there ain't nothing but murderers and drifters and raiders. not oh, crap. shoot got him okay finally get to use some of uh, some of our arsenal here ow dude how did that not hit him there we go that's a kill taking one more shot I'm guessing Hopefully it's worth it for whoever we're saving, and I am down on hell. We gotta be careful. Man, this is really survival heavy. Whew! Learned my lesson. Crossbow, it's not so stealthy. And it's not that damaging, and it's a little hard to hit it. It fires slow. Okay, hold Okay. Hi. Hang on. You're gonna die out here. I know of a camp where it's safe. Where? Where? I'll go! I'll go! Send the survivor? Does it cost that money, or is it we, we cash that in? Oh, we cash it in. Nice. Safe there. Thank you so much. I thought I was gonna die in there. Yeah, let him know it was Deacon St. John. Okay, keep running. Stay out of sight. Thanks, man. Got what we needed. Um, let's uh, go and use a bandage here. Fills us up nicely. And uh, we saved the day a little bit for that dude. Kind of nifty. I really like the systems at play here. Uh, as we put together a pretty cool part two. Thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll be back. We'll uh, head over towards more of the main mission. Um, I guess I left my bike yeah, right here. So we'll grab it. Let's go check out these cars, I guess. And we'll pick back up on the main trail towards that radar tower when we return. What do you guys think of Days Gone so far? I really like it a lot. And I think there's so much at play. It's a lot more of a, of a thinking game than I expected. There's just so many different, you know, options and, and the survival elements. Like, you take a lot of damage. I got shot, like, twice and it took half my health, so you really got to be careful. You know, guns blazing is not the way that it works. Found some ammo. That rifle, though, pretty powerful. I liked it a lot. Uh, and we'll have to get back on the trail. This world seems ripe for exploring and ripe for danger, uh, which is very interesting. We got some... Oh, was th I think this is where I was at the very beginning when I took these dudes out, right? I'm pretty sure that was the case. This is kind of where I left my bike. All right, so I understand where I am. Uh, and hopefully I will see you guys back on the next part soon. Until that time, everybody, thank you so much for watching. We'll head back up this mountain pass here and return to our mission for 350 clicks and account. Until then, have a fantastic day, everybody. Thanks a lot. Drink so much chocolate, and we'll see you all alive.